What's going on everybody and welcome to our first review of a Godzilla x Kong the New Empire U2s. I can't believe we're finally doing these videos. I first ordered these back when the movie dropped in theaters in the end of March. That was almost four months ago. That is quite some time has passed. We're already in August. So today we're kicking off the series by reviewing Evolved Godzilla here. Of course Godzilla's new form taken into a U2's form and of course I did get the heat ray Godzilla from Godzilla vs Kong's U2's line a couple years back it was a BAM exclusive I'm glad these ones are not gonna be exclusives thank god for that but these should be in Toys R Us if you're in Canada there's a good chance these might hit Toys R Us so that being said why don't we dive straight into this and look at this U2's First and foremost, when it comes to U2s, you gotta realize they're different from Funko Pops because the packaging and obviously the figure itself is different. It's a different company. But I will say U2s does have really neat packaging for all of their figures, no matter what it is. And they all come in protectors too. Important to protect the box condition. That's why I'm super confident every time U2s get shipped because I know they will be in protectors and the boxes will not get crushed. Granted, I will be taking this figure out of the box and keeping it out of the box, but it's always nice to have a great box condition. So, inside this protector, let's open it and then I will show you the figure within because as you can see, the glare is very intense. So let's remove the protector. All right, now with the protector taken out, let's take a look at this box. So another great thing that U2s always does is that they protect their boxes with these sleeves. So not only you get the actual protector, you get the sleeve as well, which comes off super easily and it looks really nice. You gotta admit, you gotta admit, U2s has been very top tier with their qualities. So here's the look at the U2s logo. Evolved Godzilla Vino figure. Here's the side, there's an art, beautiful art here of Godzilla. And then also on this side as well, you can see the yellow font going on here. And then look at this, this this looks really nice. With I like the purple crystals, but it also looks very cartoony here with the movie logo. So now, let's remove the sleeve. This one has a plastic window for once, pretty sick. All right, now with the box within, we have this, the Godzilla Kong Collection, number zero. Another photo of Godzilla there. This looks more like a Funko Pop box now. You can see the artwork is pretty much the same here. The back, ooh, I like this. Titan Rising. You got Godzilla walking down Hollow Earth in a cartoon art form. Stomp Squad on this side. Yeah, u 2 has always put their all into their boxes, which looks very, very nice. So now, with the box done, why don't we open it and take the figure out? Once you open the lid, you can see over here, under the lid it says, My Kingdom, My Rules. Very, very neat. Pull this out, that's the figure. Inside the box you can see the movie logo and some of the other artwork within. And there we are. I am very impressed right off the get-go. The pink looks fantastic on him. The colors look really nice. Now granted, remember these are collectible figurines. There's not gonna be any articulation or playability. These are literally meant to be put on the shelf to be on display in your collection. That being said, you can display it in the box as you should do with Funko Pops, but once you take this out of the box, you can really appreciate the figure in all its glory. That's why I do strongly recommend that you do take it out of the box. U2's case is a little bit different from Funko's. This Godzilla does hold up. The main thing I want to compare this to is, of course, GVK's Godzilla that U2's has made. There you go, the BAM exclusive one. It does come with the atomic breath piece. And I remember that was a great addition, a great reason to why the figure was great. This one, no pink atomic breath. That's a bummer. I feel like that was a missed opportunity. Should have included the atomic breath in pink. It would have worked. You can clearly see between the two that 
this is not a remold. Obviously, Godzilla himself has changed in this movie, but U2 did not go lazy and use the same mold. It's a completely different mold. And even the colors, apart from the pink dorsal plates, you can see the skin color is also quite different. And even the shape of the head is quite different. So you gotta give it to them. They actually put their effort to make a brand new Godzilla. The old Godzilla was great, the GVK one, but this, I wouldn't say it's an improvement, but it works as a new Godzilla figure, that's for sure. The pink really reflects well. I love the distribution of the pink here. U2's absolutely cooked with this. This looks very clean because you can also see the white in the middle kind of just fading and it's kind of contrasting it. It looks clean, very clean. Something that Playmates Godzilla struggles with the evolved version. You can see he has pink eyes as well. Kind of looks like a dinosaur from this angle. I'm not gonna lie, kind of has that T-Rex kind of head mold. And then you can see he's got the elbow spikes, which are pink. Wow, even YouTubes could do it. Why couldn't Playmates do it back then, huh? Weird. And you can see at the bottom of his feet, there is the U2's imprint on it. And that's about it. That's about as close as I can get to reviewing this thing. Obviously, it's just a figurine. It's not an action figure. There's not really any playability. So that's pretty much all I can say about this figure. So U2's Evolved Godzilla. How good is it? Like I said, it's a great new Godzilla figure. It's not necessarily an improvement from GVK's because GVK's was also very high quality and it looks great. So I'm going to say this works as a brand new Godzilla and I think this is a very clean Godzilla. I think the Funko Pop for Evolved Godzilla looked great, but this one takes it up a notch. Obviously the Funko is way more easy to find. This one, a little bit more difficult, but it definitely holds up because damn, that looks good. For the measly price of 30 Canadian dollars, you do gotta realize that the U2s is limited quantity and they do put quality rather than quantity. I'm gonna give Evolved Godzilla here a solid nine out of 10. I'm very, very happy with what I got here. The only thing missing is a pink atomic breath. That would have been very nice to have it included in this Godzilla, especially if we have that two pack of Godzilla versus Shimo. Why can you put the atomic breath piece for this singular Godzilla? That's about it. That's all I gotta say. So that is the Evolved Godzilla YouTube. So let me know what you think and see if you agree or disagree with my opinions hit the subscribe button turn a note of bell on so you won't miss it when those reviews come out and we'll see you in the next one bye for now